what's happening folks Gerald here aka j 90 coming at you with another reaction another gladys knight reaction but also another boy some men reaction okay so here's the deal let me break this down this is gladys knight and boy some men live at the apollo performing end of the road this is huge because i made a mistake very recently as in just a few days ago, I recorded a reaction just to Gladys Knight at the Apollo, and she did the entire um, end of the road medley. And I didn't, when with searching for Gladys Knight performing end of the road, I didn't search good enough because it was only after I fully, I, that episode is fully recorded, it is fully finished. I don't know when I'm going to premiere it. It depends on how much I, I think it'll depend on how much I like this performance here, whether it'll become before or after it. Either way, it's going to be on Patreon first before um, it's on YouTube. But um, I only later saw that at the Apollo, she and she and Boys to Men performed the song on a separate occasion. And I've never seen this. This oh my god. Okay, so let me say what I said in the first video because you know that actually going to come out after this one. Um, quiet as is kept. End of the road. It's it should be no secret. I feel like it's probably the case for a lot of people. End of the road is my favorite boys to men song. However, what is quiet as is kept. I prefer Gladys Knight's version over theirs. Gladys Knight as some extra punches maybe i just prefer her voice yeah as as i've said in um lots of things about me i actually very much prefer um female vocalists i had something about a woman's voice and a woman's putting her all into her songs it kind of gets me a little bit more than the fellas <laughs> you know so anyway um this is going to be really cool because I, kn I know for her recorded version i think either they do background or something like that i know for sure they're they're doing background for her in the music video but um this is gonna be full duet and so i don't know if this one's gonna be like them doing background or her um doing background or a full-on duet like one sweet day or something like that so it's all exciting it's all exciting and i feel like i would be doing myself a disservice if i posted uh the first one i did without seeing this one first because this one potentially could be better so anyway before we get to it I need you guys to go ahead and subscribe ring the bell for notifications and let's go for this channel 10,000 subscribers we can get there but i'm gonna need your help to do it you guys help me get to two you guys help me get to 2,000 subscribers and i love that i appreciate that and so now without further ado this is gladys knight and boys to men with end of the road live at the apollo then a wonderful song came on the radio It sounded so good I had to put it on my new album just for you Because when I first heard this song I felt like I wanted to pull up my car over to the side Stop it and get out and say Come oh. on, bro. come on, bro. You 
was I was about to wonder. I was like, okay, is this just gonna is this just a intro? Did Gladys just give them an intro? But no, but Gladys came through. We are gonna rewind right to that point now. Hold on now. You know, the magic of End of the Road, I can honestly say, and to what Gladys was talking about, that old school feel, it has this real gospel energy. It has this real gospel choir energy about it. And a, like the, you, if it has a real choir feel. And oh, Gladys, glad, well, all of them, like I said, I, End of the road is so deep for me. It's one of like it, it just reminds me of the playpen days, but it also like I re I remember that song being on the radio every single day and loving it and like, whoo man, that. But like I said, Gladys's version. I only discovered Gladys's cover. I only discovered it maybe five years ago, and that took over my life <laughs> for a good minute because. Gladys's voice, Gladys, Gladys Knight in general is so underrated. I feel like of her peers of her generation, Gladys Knight and Dionne Warwick are so very underrated for their level of talent and their level of success that they've had throughout their careers, you know, 
And oh my God, Gladys. And she still sounds the same. Gladys's voice today sounds like it did in 1961. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Mm. She she is not be she is not to be played with, and when she is boys to men can play with. But even then, not really. They they <laughs> they were fantastic. But Gladys, my God, I, oh man, man. But boys to men, I view them of my the '90s generation. I view them as top tier in terms of like I mentioned before. I love groups where every member shines and every member, you know has their own flow and power and all that and to me in vogue is my favorite group of all time but boys to men is second or third to the temptations a new edition of like favorite male group up there basically for that reason where they i, I love groups where there's so much personality and so much energy and everything and boys to men they are phenomenal with that so shout out to them i've met them i've seen them in concert great um love that more gladys night more boys to men in the comments whoo y'all that <laughs> this one will be coming out before the second one if the, se the second one might just be a patreon only one for real we'll see but Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this reaction. If you did, please go ahead, like, subscribe, bring that bell for notifications. Please feel free to follow me on social media. That's in the description below. If you like to tip, donate, sponsor a request to be in my next batch of recordings. That's also in the description below. And um, and I really appreciate when you guys do that. It means a lot. It's a fun surprise. It goes a long way. And um, please feel free to join my Patreon. That's also in the description on, and on Patreon. You get benefits like Patreon only videos, like the original end of the road <laughs> I did with Gladys might be. And, um, and it, it's usually what happens when, um, my YouTube videos get blocked. Then it's like, well, they are, they are all on Patreon or you get early access to Patreon videos and everything. So Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate every single person who pressed play, intentional or not. I, your energy means a lot to me. It really does. And please take care of yourself and each other to the end of the road. <laughs> I can't.